A warm welcome to the newsroom. I am Fidelia Aguncha. President Mohamedou Buhari is on his way to Dakar, Senegal, to attend the inauguration of Senegalese President Macky Sall. President Buhari was accompanied by Governors Mohamed Abubakar, Nasu El Rufai, and Tanko Al Makura of Bochi, Kaduna, and Nasrara State, respectively. The president is expected back in the country at the end of the inauguration ceremonies. The suspended Chief Justice Walter Onoyan has proposed to call three defense witnesses to his trial on charges of false and non-declaration of assets ongoing before the Code of Conduct Tribunal in Abuja. The tribunal had on Friday ordered Onoyan to open his defense after ruling that he had a case to answer in respect of the six counts preferred against him. APC lawmaker Abdul Mamin Jibrin has expressed confidence in Femi Bajabiamila's ambition to become Speaker of the Ninth House of Representatives, the incumbent majority leader officially declared his ambition to run for the Speakership of the Ninth National Assembly over the weekend, saying he is seeking the office to mentor younger generation. A federal high court in Abuja has discharged and acquitted former Senate President Adolphus Wabara and two others of allegations of bribery leveled against them by the federal government in 2005. The court in its ruling said the prosecution lacked witnesses to prosecute the defenders. The Minister of Budget and National Planning, Udo Udoma, says the federal government will revert to the January to December budget cycle, beginning with the 2020 national budget. Udoma, while defending his ministry's 2019 budget in the Senate, said the executive was willing to comply with the provisions of the Fiscal Responsibility Act of 2007 by submitting the Median Term Expenditure Framework and Fiscal Strategy Paper to the National Assembly on time. Turkey's Supreme Election Board has announced that opposition candidate for Istanbul Mayor Ekrem Imamoglu is leading with 28,000 votes with most ballot boxes counted in Sunday's election. Result from Sunday's ballot also showed President Recep Tayyip Erdogan, who is AKP's uh, candidate, was set to lose the capital Ankara in what will be a major upset for the ruling party in power for a decade and a half. Roger Federer defeated an injured John Esner 6-1-6-4 for his 101th career title at the Miami Open on Sunday. The title was Federer's second for the year, coming after his historic 100th win in Doha in February. And that's the latest from the newsroom. Thank you so much for watching. I am Fidelia Aguncha. Bye for now.